Hey guys, get level here, and today we're gonna be talking about Markdown and how you can use it to format your Twitch panels. So Markdown is simply a sort of language, a formatting system that allows you to play around with the look of your Twitch panel paragraphs. It allows you to put things in bold and italic and quotations, and you can list stuff and even make words clickable. So today we will be taking a quick look at some of the possibilities of Markdown. Okay, so I just logged into my alternate account and uh, let me scroll down and click edit panels. So this is where you would input some text. I don't feel like writing out the paragraph right now. So we're going to put some placeholder text just to play with the formatting. Anyone who's worked on the website knows about the lorem ipsum, which is, I believe, Latin text, which is what you can copy paste when you want to put some placeholder text. Okay, so let's put this right click, copy it. And then here we'll right click and paste it, submit, boom. And if we turn off the editing, there we go. We have a neat little paragraph. But the thing is the average internet's user uh, attention span is about like three minutes. If they see big paragraphs, it's going to discourage them from reading it at all. So you don't want huge paragraphs. You want to separate stuff and sometimes you want to format it. So it's more uh, readable. Now, if you want more details about that, I advise you come to my show on Twitch every Friday, 8 p.m. I do a show called Stream Review, where I give you more insight on, on the best practices of writing an About Me panel or writing anything else on your Twitch channel. But right now I just wanna show you the formatting uh, system. So uh, I'm gonna go back to edit. And technically if you've done this process of editing your panels, Twitch actually tells you right here that it su supports Markdown. And if you click on it, it will open up the Markdown page explaining all of that to you. But I understand that most people don't even click on it or they read it first and they don't understand it or they just, you know, forget about it. Okay, so quickly, we have bold, we have italic, we have clickable. We have header, that's bold and big, header two, header three. And then here we have the formatting, what we need to write in order to achieve that result. And then we have more formatting about line breaks, quotes, non-quotes, <laughs> nested quotes, and then the rest is just about lists. So when it comes to line breaks, technically you can already separate your paragraph in order to have it more, to give it more clarity. Um, I could go ahead and just press enter twice here. And then that should break my paragraph in two already. Let me edit panels. Okay, boom. So I have two separate paragraphs, right? Oh, look, a quote. Okay, let's see that second paragraph part is a um, is a quote. Let's put greater than, nope. And that should be displayed as a quote. Let's go ahead. Nice. So this is the quoting system. It's like, hey, that's a quote. What else do we have? Nested quote. Um, so inside that quote, let's try to put a nested quote. Okay, two times the greater than sign. I put a paragraph here. Okay, nice. So you have to put it in a separate paragraph. So we have a quote and a nested quote. Now we can try the other types of uh, emphasis. We have the bold text. That's two asterisk like this word. So I'm going to put one, two one two submit i really don't like the extension thing it it just keeps you from getting to your panels it's annoying put it at the bottom i don't know as you can see here this word is in bold all right italic is just one single asterisk on each side let's put dolor boom okay okay that one is in italic now the text is a little bit complicated. Well, it's not really complicated, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy paste it because I don't wanna mess it up while typing it. But basically if you want one word, let's put it at the end of this paragraph. You want one word to be uh, clickable. You know what, let's put it on its own paragraph. I'm gonna paste this. So Twitch, this is the word that's gonna be displayed. It, it, it's in between brackets, okay? So if it's gonna be your Instagram, this is where you would type whatever the word, the clickable word will be. And then right after that, you put the actual link. Do not forget the HTTPS um, column slash slash. But if I click submit, here, I have a clickable link. If you're giving credits to an artist, for example, or sometimes people just put their social media like that. Although I do recommend just having uh, separate panels for your social media. Um, but yeah, if you want to list people or, or other streamers and stuff like that, this is a good way of doing it by using uh, links. 
Let's try headers. What is this? It's the pound sign or the hashtag, if you will. So I want lorem ipsum to be let's put a pound here. Let's click submit. And as you can see, it's kind of like a, a title or well, it's a header. Basically, it's a header title, if you will. And then you have two more uh, um, sizes. I don't think I need to go over them right here. You can see you just put two pound signs or three. OK, so now let's try the, the list system, which uh, if you watch my stream reviews, I don't recommend doing in the about me section, but that's a whole different story. So you have unordered lists, so it's just bullet points basically. And then you have ordered lists where you're gonna have, you know, a numerical value near every single element. And there you go, you'll, you'll just get uh, the bullet points if you put the plus. So basically for every type of unordered list, if you want the bullet points, you can use either the plus sign, the minus sign, or the asterisk. It doesn't matter, as you can see here, it will still give you the bullet points, okay? Now if you want an ordered list, you have to type the one, two, and three. You basically have to type the list the way you want, you want it to show. Click edit panel, we're gonna copy this and place it. So if you, you put the actual numbers, you submit, it will look like that. You can't really see it, but it's actually not in the middle of the paragraph. Let me put that underneath the paragraph so it's more visible. So you'll see that there's the whole listing system. It's not aligned. So we can, so it's more visible basically. But yeah, to be completely honest, I feel like the list system, uh, bold, italic, and clickable stuff is the most important. Don't go too crazy. I've seen people on Twitch having all of their text on all of their panel be completely bold or be a header. Don't do that. It's obnoxious and it and it and it's unpleasant to read. Basically, it doesn't look good. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the whole markdown system. It's not something that I use at all, as you probably you probably notice. It's not something that I necessarily recommend abusing. But of course, if you want some clickable links and stuff like that, it's quite important. If you want to know what the Twitch page will look in the future, because they're working on some updates, you need to click on top of your screen top right now, because I made a video about the future profile pages and uh yeah and if you want to know how to customize your whole twitch channel from the banner the offline image the avatar the the panels and everything you need to click now uh, because there's gonna be a video on how to customize all of that from scratch and uh to be fair if you have any questions about twitch i probably made a video about it so just type my name and then type the keyword or just click on my name here and scroll down the channel you'll probably find something that is interesting that you didn't know before that being said if you're looking for some dope overlays to make your twitch channel look good that are cheap or even free uh, go to gumroad.com slash get level this is where i keep them <laughs> and the usual subscribe click the notification bell and i will see you guys next time thank you so so much for watching my video stay inside wash your hands make me proud get level out